Hello, everybody, and welcome to That Checks Out with Damon and Ted. I'm Ted. That makes him Damon coming to you live, well recorded live at Audio Hive Podcasting Studio. Our producer today is Mac, as always. He has already set Damon off with a microphone request. Yeah, this is weird. It's already a thing. Yeah. Let's get right into it. Damon, how was your week? Well, it sucks after I got a microphone request. (laughs) Yeah, I know. It's already already a downer. This is really weird. I'm going to sound weird now on this recording. I think we both sound weird. Our voices are totally different. Apparently, afternoon voice is not the same as morning voice. It's very weird. Yeah, it seems like a very weird. So it's nothing for anyone else, but for us, this is an entirely different day, an entirely different time of day. Yeah, everything sucks. Yeah, but it'll still be out first thing Monday morning, so we'll be right. good. It's all for you guys. Yeah. It's for the people. Yeah. So um, this is the people's podcast. With my yeah, yeah, we're we're for the people. Yeah. It, so coming to you instead of doing the Rock Johnson, it's us the people's podcast. I'm I'm per Rock Geo Johnson. All right. Does this that has been that checks out. Yeah. <laughs> Shortest episode ever. Sorry we didn't have anything this week. No. Uh so I do have something. Uh I had to make a phone call. Is it contagious? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I had to make a phone call to AT&T. Okay? And yes, I'm going to leave the name in when I say it cuz that's my phone provider. Were you, were you calling from 1991? <laughs> yeah. Well, they're my phone provider and they recently bought my uh, Direct TV of course. Now they own that for last however many years. Yeah. So, so anyway, they, they have me down for my, uh, entertainment in the house and my phone. So I had to call because we had a, a phone that was stolen. Okay. So I had to call and Did they I ask if you're calling from the phone. Right? No, they didn't. They, they should have, yeah. because what, what I got was, uh, I got 46 minutes of, um, someone who's definitely working from home. Sure. But which, and, which home, uh, well, their home Okay, <laughs> and raising, Children at the same time, uh, babysitting, possibly running a daycare. I'm not sure, uh, but it was it was pretty intense. AT&T does have their fingers in a lot of pies. Yeah, so. <laughs> it was like it's like is this a, is this a bona fide daycare? Yeah. All I know is they kept saying, "Did you find the bobo?" I don't know what the bobo was, but at one point in time, I wanted her to put me on hold, give me directions to her house, and I go help look for the bobo. Yeah. So, but oh, was, I thought they were asking you if you found the bobo, yeah. <laughs> but they were turning around asking someone yeah. in the room if they yeah. found the bobo. First off, I called a GI Joe guy, and that's personal. Yeah. So <laughs> that that's not that's going in the survey. See, I, at one point, you would that whoever was in the room behind her would have heard me screaming through her phone, "Have you looked everywhere yeah. for the bobo?" <laughs> so, the secret is to look everywhere. I almost turned into Ted the Finder as myself, yeah. you know, over the phone. Okay, did we look? And but, it's not a secret. It's just look everywhere. No, I can't be there. Did you look? No. Well, then look. So I get told uh, by Cassandra. I get told by her that. Oh, wow. We're going all names. Yeah, well, I don't have her last name, so Cassandra, there could be a, a million of them. Cassandra Bobo <clears throat> from 18. And I only know this because they sent me the survey, which, by the way, I did not fill out the survey because I had nothing nice to say. So I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Here's the deal. She has a job. She's earning a living. Kudos to her. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's not 100% focused, apparently. Correct. But But it was frustrating to me. Because all I needed to do, this was my third phone call to at and The first one was, hey, I need to get a new phone. Well, okay, you're doing an upgrade. I don't care about an upgrade. Here's what I want to do. I want to buy the phone. Well, if you buy the phone outright for like a 64-gig phone, which nowadays like stores a couple phone numbers and yeah. two pictures and you're done, uh, it was 400 bucks. I said, well, I want one that's like 256 at least, if not 512 and they're like, well, 256. Well, that'll be like 675. But you can do it monthly. It's like 12 or six dollars a month, and this, and you save like four hundred dollars. Why do I save money when I pay monthly? I'm confused. Yeah, that that seems weird. It seems weird. I would think you'd save money if you go, here's all my money at one time. Right. Okay. It was the opposite. So I said, okay, I'm gonna go and get a phone and I'll bring it to you. You know what I mean? So I'll have the phone. I said, I'm gonna need a SIM card for this. That's all with the information on it to the first person I talked to. They said, you're going to need to get the phone first. So we know which model it is. Then we'll get the SIM card. That makes total sense to me. Cause I don't know what model I'm buying yet. So that's right. cool. Sure. So I go on the great Amazon and I buy a phone. And like I on the river itself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, they didn't have any on the Nile. So I went on the Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Isn't the Nile in the Amazon? Didn't I just geographically like prove myself pro- no, correct? You, you moved a river from Egypt to, oh. to a river in South America, but that's fine. Oh, don't well, they touch by water somehow. Uh, sure, I mean all water <laughs> that's on the ocean somehow touches. So, so anyway, they tell me that's what I have to do. So I buy the phone, I call back, and I give them the. Uh, this is when I get Cassandra now. Okay, I'm on. I'm on call number three. All she has to do is get me a SIM card for. I ordered a like a, a 10s. 
Now I'm saying XS because I don't know. I I don't know lingo. It is what it is. I go it's and I go it's X-ray Sierra, X-ray. And I said I don't know how to, X-ray xylophone. What do you want me to start the word X with? Right. You know it, this is what it is. And she proceeds. My phone's older. She proceeds to. It's P as in pneumonia. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway. She proceeds to give me all the information. Then she goes, so for my, she gives me my phone number. And I go, no, 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 my phone's not lost. I'm talking to you on my phone. I need the one for that phone. So four times I corrected her, okay? And every time she goes, oh, okay, I'll take care of that right away. First off, stop lying. You said that four times. Yeah. We still don't know where the bobo is. I was just going to say, you're taking care of this as well as you're finding the bobo. <laughs> yeah. But she, she's literally, I hear her go, she goes, check under the couch. And I'm so like, that'd be creepy at some point. So I go, so I go, I go, excuse me. She goes, Oh, sorry, sorry, I wasn't talking to you. Okay. Well, I know that, but my, I'm just yeah, I'm my, what I'm doing is my I'm SIM card is not under the couch. Yeah, I'm acknowledging to you that I can hear you. Right. So what I'm kind of doing is giving you a gift. Just I wouldn't do that again because especially if this is being recorded, that's gonna sound shady. Right. You know? So especially just, since it would probably take all two seconds to mute. Right. Check out the couch. Unmute. Yeah. So anyway, sir. So so now she proceeds. She gets through the whole thing, and she gives me the last four digits of my number. I go, that's my number. You have the wrong. That SIM card will not fit in the phone I'm getting. Oh, I'm real sorry about that. I'll take care of that real quick. Look under the bed. And I go, excuse me? She goes, I'm sorry, sir. I wasn't talking to you. Can and you focus? I'm just like, okay. So so yeah. seriously, I, I'm just like, I'm letting you know I can hear you. Yeah. I, okay, I'm, I think I'm doing you a favor. Hey, Cassandra, the calls are coming from inside the house. <laughs> that number you're giving me is the number I'm calling. So for. the fourth time, she says, she's, okay, well, I'll just hang tight with me here. Um, I'll get that done for you real quick. And I'm like, no, Is that no, for me no, or for the Bobo? Right, right, right. Yeah. You're not talking to me. You know? yeah. So they never found the Bobo because I still heard. And here's the deal. I hear little kids. But when you're over 20 minutes into a call that should have taken – because I wasn't on hold the whole time. Yeah. You know That's what I mean? something that drives me nuts. If you would just deal with the phone call, yeah. you could be done with the phone call, and then you can handle your business. <clears throat> Correct. Correct. That happens to me a lot. I'm not going to name names, but I'll call someone, and suddenly they're still talking to someone else in the room. Like, yeah. If you would just finish the one question I had, right. you have all the time in the world to go talk to those people. Correct. But now you're wasting everyone's time. Correct. There's yours, mine, yeah. Brian's. <laughs> so, so I was just like, right. I kept saying, I kept saying I bought an X-ray Sierra, X-ray Sierra. So she goes, here. Fast forward, we get done with the phone call. She's running through the spiel, and I'm like, I'm, uh, I'm like, are, are we done? She's like, yeah. I said, okay, thank you. You have a great day. I was, I didn't go full Damon. I didn't. I was very proud of myself, but I literally took a screenshot. See the time on there? Yeah, it's forty six oh three. Forty six minutes and three seconds. Uh, three seconds might have been for snapping the picture, so I'll give her forty six on the on the nose. Okay, it's very generous. Um, but they literally sent me a text afterwards that said, you know, will you fill out a survey? No, I won't, because I, I. First off, I don't need to get her in trouble. Yeah, well, yeah, I was going to say your survey really all it would have to be is like, just check the tapes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not under the bed. Did yeah. we find the Bobo? You know, do you have anything I'm else not to say? say? Anything. The tapes speak for themselves. <laughs> right. Right. But I, I, and I thought I was helping her. I'm like, I can hear you. So if I can hear you and someone's monitoring, monitoring your calls, they can hear you. Right. And, you know, it, it is what it is. But um, it was, it was an absolutely horrendous experience. And when she was doing it, I thought, and again, she may be new to the job, maybe a new position, but I'm like, are you YouTubing how to do this right now? Because I could hear other stuff running. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, she's like watching a training video on how to walk I, me through I this. I will not deny that that's very much the part of. It happens. I mean, a lot of, half the part of being in IT is knowing how to Google better than the yeah, person that's gone. Correct. Correct. Hold on. Wait, what did you say it was called real quick? Yeah. What, what is that noise? Hold on. Hold on. Your answer is loading. Hold on. <laughs> you do that, Mac? When, when. Somebody calls me at my day job with a question that I know they could find in four seconds of Google. I make sure I let them know, yeah, let me pull up Google and look that up for you real quick. <laughs> you say it out loud. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let me Google that. Yeah. yeah. I used to love that. Well, that all the time. Like, here, hey, I have a question for you about a piece of equipment you never look at, you never use, and you don't actually service. Can you help me with it? Yeah, real quick. Just give me what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> What's that noise? And then you're like, yeah, you literally read it <laughs> verbatim as if you are the, the usual manual. Right. You want to scroll to settings. So, so let, let's fast forward now. Two days, which was good. It got to me in two days. Wrong, uh, wrong, wrong, wrong SIM, SIM card. card. Yeah. It was for my phone. Sure for my phone. Yeah. So I have the new phone there. there. I have the new phone there, which showed up a day early, which was awesome. I get the sim same time. They're on the porch. I'm like, oh, cool. I pull, it, I pull the SIM card out. I already had the, the thing out where the SIM card goes. 
And I go, there's no way. This, I didn't even put the, the shelf back in it sits on. I couldn't put the card in the slot. That's yeah. how big it was. And I'm like, this is not right. So I call back again and I get somebody else. And she goes, well, how's it going? Well, I don't like to be that guy where it's like terrible. You need to help. You know, I go, yeah. I go. So well, it's like, hey, how can I help you today? Well, I got a problem. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great. I'm glad I won we the already, phone race. Yeah. We already know how this is going. <laughs> So I said, I said, listen, I said, I'm hoping. Or, hey, can I help you? I hope so. I yeah. hate that one more than anything. I hate that one more than anything. But, but I'm like, like, I have to ask you that, sir. I'm not asking you because I really want to help you, but it's right. a question I have to ask. Yeah. yeah. I hey, hope so. Can I ask you a question that I don't care to hear yeah. the answer to? Yeah. <laughs> but um, so I, I said, I said, well, hopefully uh, you can help me out here because I said, uh, I've been getting stuck. And she's like, oh. And I said, not your fault. And I don't plan on taking it out on you. So let's figure it out. And that's how I did it. Yeah. Right. So she tells me, she goes, do you have, an, do you have a store by you, AT&T store? I go, no, I don't. Now, mind you, I've lived in the same house for like 15 years. Yeah, okay? Is there one like across the street? Yeah, there's yeah. one right by the Dunkin' Donuts, which is probably where you've been by my house. And I had no idea. Yeah. Okay. So I go, let me Google it. Uh, yeah. It's wait, like, wait, 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 let me check. Yeah. I go, uh, apparently there's one like six tenths of a mile for me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's like right there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's where the gas station asks you. They just want to confirm you know where you are. Right. Are you are you familiar with the AT&T store over there? Yeah. So anyway. Well, that probably you just saw, oh, donuts, and then didn't realize anything else was in yeah. the building. So she she tells me, she was very nice. She says, uh, well, you could go right to that store, and they'll take one out, and they'll program it for you. And I said, can they do everything else? Activate it? Because then they got to call back and give them the number and everything else. She goes, they can do it all right there. Okay, so you're telling me I can avoid a further phone call. I said, I you, said. You could have avoided f- probably 44 minutes of the previous phone call. Right, right. So anyway, I have the their phone number pulled up because I Googled it. I said, would you like their phone number so you can call and see if they have the part we need? Yes, I would. So now I'm helping her, which was fine. So she calls there, and she said, and so then when she gets back on the phone, she goes, they do have them, and uh, you can go anytime. They'll help you. I said, excellent. I said, well, there'll be a charge because I don't know if I go in a store, right. you know. And she goes, you know what? Hold on. She literally called them back and said, this guy's not paying a nickel. So relax, you know what I mean? Relax. So I went over there and uh, he goes, yeah, he got a boboed. Oh, yeah. Okay, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I go in and it's sitting on his chair. Damn it. There's the bobo. <laughs> you know, do you know Cassandra? Yeah. <laughs> We're dating. <laughs> that checks out. It does check out. But so anyway, he goes in the back, he grabs the card. Now, what's your biggest fear then is that it's not going to work, right? He right. comes out, he burns through two SIM cards. Now, what's the odds on a phone that's now two generations advanced that he's going to have more sim cards in the back sure and they're like oh and he's now he's on with it for for their guys and he says well they said get another card and i'm like oh no and i go do you have another one he goes got one more i'm like oh no it's the final <laughs> countdown so he comes out he gets it all programmed I'm like bro you're awesome you know like that i mean and i and so i got a survey on him after i left the store like it literally popped in the in the new phone but, i would be like this guy is definitely not a cassandra right <laughs> He knows where his Bobo is. Right. This guy has got it going on. Um, but that was that was kind of my week in a nutshell. By the way, I heard something awesome this week. So I'm talking, I'm talking, I did a fantasy football draft too, but nobody really cares about that. Um, however, my son Chuck was awesome at it because he's he's in it and I just his personality. But yeah. he let me know, not at the draft, but right before we were talking, he has a burner TikTok account so he can go on and troll his buddies with comments on their TikTok accounts. And I thought for a 14 year old, super advanced. And I'm so proud of the kid. You know what I mean? He, yeah. And I said, who do you, he goes, just my buddies. He goes, but I'll go on. He goes, and then when I troll them with that account, I'll go on a account. I'll be like, come on, man, don't do that to him. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is the evolution of my brain in the next generation. Yeah. That, that felt that there was a reason why a little, little <laughs> vomit in my mouth. When you yeah. said it. <laughs> So, uh, how was that? How was the pizza? I noticed you got like 8,000 pizzas for you. Whatever yeah, you and I like your comment. What is his friends going to eat? Yeah. <laughs> so, no, pizza was good. Well, I was um, going to say that yours was the either the all meat or the big sausage, whatever. <laughs> but I decided I would just go a little bit less uh, Yeah, less on the nose. Well, <laughs> I've never I, had the Marco's pizza, though. Is it good? It was It was good. Well, it's the only part left of the uh, of the video stores now, really. So. Right, it was family <laughs> video, and this corner is Marco's pizza. So now it's this corner. Yeah. <laughs> What do you got over there? I don't know. I might put in a roller rink. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever, you know. So I mean, you can use that for seating. No, nah, <laughs> that's too convenient. <laughs> it's a Netflix queue. You just walk inside yeah. and pick what you want. Uh, how about you? Anything cool just this a week? Red box. If you're <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, this 
just today I helped destroy my childhood bedroom. Yeah, I saw that. <clears throat> so you got to help destroy it? Yeah, it was today was demo day. Oh. So we we cut out the uh the sheetrock on the, the adjoining wall cuz I get I didn't realize this happened. A, a few years back there was a some sort of issue and my mom had to do massive plumbing. At the time she had the my room plumbed for a bathroom ex, uh expansion. I didn't realize she had done that. So gotcha. when she said she was going to put it in the bathroom I'm like, "Where are you going to put this? We live on a <laughs> you live on a slab. Where are you putting that?" Yeah. You just have pipes like running along the carpet. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's that's the poop pipe. <laughs> they got the, the the pipe from the bank. Yeah, you hit the thing and it whoosh, sucks it right yeah. up. <laughs> and they paint the one brown, and the other one is like you know blue and red. And like, okay, those are the ones I can touch. Um, <laughs> the poop pipes clogged yeah. again. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Hold on, I'll just unscrew that real quick. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we cut that out. We ripped out the carpet, and the, you so that you saw the video where it goes from like when we first bought that house. There was two rooms together, and they share a closet. So when we first got there as a kid, you know, I was in sixth grade. It was like, oh, cool. If I go into this closet, I can come out of that room. Yeah. Because it was like, a, you know, like one continuing closet between the two rooms. Well, now the closet side that was in my room is gone. Yeah. The other wall is still there because it's a retaining wall. So we need to put a header up. Yeah. But it's just weird. Like, you know, I mean, I get that your your mom still is where you grew up. So you've seen your room transform. Right. My, it hasn't been my room for 20 plus years, but... You know, everything, everything was out that was part of my room. No, like, but it no, was a shrine. I was just in it. It was, I mean, it was well, a, it had an homage. Well, it pictures of us, but it, it had my bed was still in there because, you know, yeah. like, you don't change out. But all the other furniture was gone. It was painted differently. Everything, it wasn't the room I grew up in, but still it was like. Well, but it was. It was closer than I think a lot of other people have been to, like. I probably shouldn't have said shrine. Homage. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was, it was, it is still your taste and still your yeah. stuff. And yeah, yeah. So it was just weird that. Yeah. Uh, well, the first thing I was going to, like, when we went there, to backtrack a few weeks ago for people, we went to my mom's house for right around catfish days, which would have been around the 23rd of July. Yeah. That's a date I remember. And she was like, oh, tomorrow I'm going to move the, I'm going to move the weird, bed. Yeah. Date to remember. To remember. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It's greatest day in the history of America. <laughs> Mid forties. Four, five, six. <laughs> um, and she was like, I'm going to move the bed and, and this, I'm going to move the bed tomorrow. And we're like, no, you're not. I said, Damon, come here. We, Cause yeah. you were outside. I think you're like, Hey, well, yeah. I need you real quick. He's like, what, what? You're like, what's up? And I'm like, we got to move this bed. So move the bed and everything. And then like, Two weeks later, she's like, oh, I got to move the heavy uh, piece of wooden furniture and this love seat out of here. I'm like, why don't you say that when you had people moving stuff <laughs> out of there? Yeah. So now I got to go drive down and do it. Because she was like, oh, I'll just move that couch by myself. And I'll just move this solid, like it was built, the solid wood piece, I think it was built in the 60s. So you know it was made out of like yeah. actual tree. It's real wood. Yeah. It's not like yeah, press it's board. Not, it's not yeah, this. It's not this table, Mac. Claims yeah, Mac. Table. It's not this, Mac. It was literally like Paul Bunyan <laughs> split a log. And they're like, well, I guess we put it together and put drawers in it. <laughs> You can put that next to your yeah. bed. So I do all that. Room. I clean out the bedroom. I clean up the whole closet, right? Yeah. I clean up the closet. I clean up my room. Everything. There's so you some have stuff. A pr- on, pretty eventful there's day. Some then. stuff on the walls. Well, that was that was that day. Yeah. And then she's like, "Oh yeah, we got to clean out the other room." Well, you didn't say that. The adjoining room. The adjoining room. Really? They want all that stuff out of there. Like, what? Is so it? I did all that stuff. Like, I cleaned out the love seat and the heavy wood stuff and the closet. I still had a couple hours. I was there. She didn't say any of that. Yeah. I get home. She's like, "Oh, I got to clean out that other room." <laughs> <laughs> so I went. To my mom's last night, and I woke up this morning and cleaned out the rest of that. And then, then after cleaning, like moving all that stuff, yeah. Then I was helping with you know demo, and we took out we took out one of the windows, really, because that's where the bathroom. You know, there's two windows in the front, so the bathroom is going to go to the like the middle of that, so that the one window had to go, and then the other window will stay. Man, but, yeah, it's going to be a whole new. They we're closing off the door in the hallway. The middle the middle room door is not going to be there anymore because that's just so, going to be one big room with with an ensuite. As I they don't say, I hope you're not doing too much. I don't think that you're highly qualified. To I'm do. not doing any. <laughs> it was weird. It was the guy that used to help my parents when, like, you know, my dad needed help because my dad was wasn't you know super handy. I think we've discussed this where his dad didn't teach him stuff. Right. And I'll admit, you're way handier than I am. Like you learned a trade. You actually. I'm on. sorry. Was yeah. that a compliment? It was, but I'm not going to go into it. Timestamp. <laughs> I don't even know what button this is. You have a sub, Pete. <laughs> Damn it. That's a great button. <laughs> Damn. Um, so it was weird. You know, like, as we just mentioned, four, five, six. Yeah. I'm a 45 year old man. I was still the guy that was like, hey, go bring me the hammer. <laughs> okay. okay I, I can go get you that. Do you guys have a step ladder? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we got one of those. And then as I walk out, mom, which one's the step ladder? Yeah. What, what do you need? Oh, the one that looks like an A? Oh, yeah. We got one of those. Hold on, real quick. <laughs> but it was weird because he just like, like, he, that guy's known me since, since birth. So it's weird. Like, he used, to, like, so. So you have to imagine, I was literally the gopher for like a 70-something-year-old you, man. So technically, you're the hold the flashlight guy. I, I did for, that. For, <laughs> I did that at one point. <laughs> that's that's yeah. so awesome. We were taking the closet <laughs> rack down, and because the closet was built in the 50s, they yeah. had uh, standard screws. It was not Phillips or anything like that. Yeah. So his, like, bit, his driver kept flying out of it. 
because he couldn't see it because it was up in the closet. And he's like, hey, can you hold the flashlight? And I was like, oh, we've come to this, have we? Well, and I was going to say, I want to be like, can you just give me a screwdriver and I'll do this <laughs> while you go do something else? Look, if somebody walks in, just act like I'm doing something yeah. else. All yeah. right. Just just be like, hey, man, yeah. great job. You know? Yeah. Well, you know, and I was the one that had, like, <laughs> the thing is, is like, I didn't want him to have to stop because, he, you know, he's taking what, like, some of the trim down is going to put back up and you were saving that. So I'm walking that out and putting it into right. a safe place. I knew that if he had to stop, take that stuff out, come back in, stop, take this stuff out, like it would have doubled his day. So I'm like, all right, I will, I will do this stupid stuff for you. But yeah. Yeah. At one point it was like, when he, he literally was like, Hey, can you hold this flashlight? I was like, Oh no. You're like, I'm this guy. This is what I do now. <laughs> That's all right. Because if, if I need something done at my house that requires uh, any level of elect- electronics whatsoever, uh, I'm the guy's like, Hey, what can I get you? Are you thirsty? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> you want me you want me to make some tea yeah. <laughs> you know? and then my mom like halfway through the day like, she ordered uh italian beef sandwiches fries and yeah. delivered so we stopped and ate and i was like well that was dumb yeah oh yeah, yeah taking a break is bad yeah and i didn't no one said anything she just like she's like hey food's here and i was like well i don't want to eat it like when it's cold but i don't want to stop but ugh, yeah it's yeah worse. it's the restart it's the restart yeah, yeah. he's like we well, ready to get going again no so that, I'm- that flashlight's pretty heavy man i'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to pass. Most uh, most job sites, they'll be like, uh, what time do you eat lunch today? Depends on where we're at, you right. know, especially when it's hot outside. It's like, you know what? If we can skip lunch and maybe get in the car an hour early, let's do that. Yeah. You know, so no, I totally get it. Anything else happened wild this week or no? Uh, That's pretty insane. No tearing apart your, yeah. you grew up in that bedroom. Right. So, I mean, that would be, you know. Yeah, since 86. Yeah. I know some people that like, whether they've inherited a house from grandma or they, you know, or this yeah. or that they, family stuff and, and they go to put it on the market. So they're like, they're redoing memories. Yeah. And that's, that's hard. Yeah. That's well, hard that's to the do. The thing is like, I went away right after my dad died. My mom did a whole bunch of stuff to the house, which totally changed, but not my corner of it. Quote unquote, my corner. Right. Like for people that remember my house and this was crazy, but like you walk in the front door, you go into the kitchen, which is the weirdest thing ever. Like yeah. It's, and then between the kitchen and the dining room are actual outside sliding glass doors. Correct. I was seeing if Mac popped up on that. He didn't, doesn't care. He doesn't, he doesn't even yeah. understand. So that was the weirdest thing. <laughs> he looks over like, yeah. I heard my name wait, now. Wait, what? Wait, and, what? And then she took those out and totally redid <laughs> at, like the kitchen and everything. And, but so like slowly over time, it's changed. It's different, but you could turn right. Right. You turn right the same. and the rest of the house was the same. Right? It was the same. None of that would change. So <clears throat> for that to change, it was like, well, what is this? Yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah. But at least you're part of it. So that's kind of cool too. Instead of you just walking in yeah. and being like, ta-da. Right. And you're like, oh, cool. Did you find anything cool behind the walls? Because those walls probably have been open forever. Um, anything neat? No, nothing cool. There was some old newspaper back there, but nothing really exciting. Nothing crazy? No. All right. Mac, anything cool this week? Well, I think the tiles are asbestos, but I probably shouldn't say that. Out loud. <laughs> did, you, yeah. did you find anything? Mesothelioma. Yeah. Yes, I found that behind the wall. Yeah, what's that guy's number? <laughs> I only know like Glenn Learners. Who's the mesothelioma we, number? Yeah, I was going to say, I, I can dial two for a while, but yeah, other than that, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. Yeah, Mac, what happened to you? What'd you do? I, I got a rash. All right. So all right. We're, we're done with so, Mac. So we're, so we're all caught up. <laughs> that's, that's what we lead. Yeah. So, I, so I got this rash. Yeah. 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 Hey, you'll see, so far, You've been a farmer. Have you been a doctor yet? Maybe you could be a doctor. Yeah, now. why not? Yeah, what am I a doctor? <laughs> what am I a doctor? Web MD. <laughs> oh, I did. I did you want to Google it for yeah. him? <laughs> I did the, that classic Midwestern dad thing where I mowed the lawn and then checked the weather and we're like, ooh, it's gonna rain later. I did that just in time. <laughs> so I was like inside, I started watching the rain and I'm watching my cut lawn get watered, and I was like, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like when I did it, I was like, I don't want to do it. It's like a thousand degrees, but I have, I kept putting it off because everyone who's been in the Midwest this past week knows it's been like yeah. 800 degrees and 9,000% humidity. Yeah. So it was like 10 o'clock. I'm like, Ooh, it's hot, but it's not the hottest part of the day. I should just go out and do yeah. it. So I go out and do it. And then literally I'm inside maybe 30 minutes later. I hear the, I hear the, you know, the rain in the outside. It's like, oh, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> let me look at my handiwork. Yeah. I called that <laughs> right. So I, <laughs> I won't bring up the entire thing, but there was a text during that time. It was so awesome because you were texting me and I texted you back and we're, we're playing text tag. And then all of a sudden uh, you said, Hey, I'm cutting my grass and I feel like I'm going to die. I'm only halfway done. And I go, nobody likes a quitter. Yeah. This was after like two weeks ago when you're like, Ted, uh, I was cutting my grass and I had to stop. Yeah. Like I've never had to do that, but I had to stop. Yeah. So this time I, I like preventively was like, I'm going to do the front. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go out and do the back. And Damon's like, uh, what, what are you quitting? Yeah, nobody likes well, to quit. <laughs> so, uh, so Max Rash will lead us right into uh, the fight me bra for the week. <laughs> All I right. I, I don't know if I want that. Huh? I don't hmm. know if I want that. Yeah, this one here is, uh, it's, it's not Rash related, but it is, I, I'm putting this as man versus weights, but it's really titled, 
what's the dumbest way you've ever uh, injured yourself? All right. And it says one time I tried to fart while playing online poker really late at night while my girlfriend was asleep. About half the fart came out before I realized this was way more than just a fart. Uh, so I caught it before it was too late. I jumped up, started to run, run to the bathroom. I had my headphones on. Oh, I was just going to say headphones. <clears throat> and it yanked my head to the left, pulled my tower over as I kicked my 25-pound weight on the floor and broke my toe as I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so do you... Do you- do you just claim that like the the shock of kicking the thing is what made you happy? Right. Yeah. Like you don't you you make that like the end of it, not the cause of it. Right. <laughs> what happened? Well, here's what happened. First off, I lay on the floor and cuss for a while, and then I go while I was laying here right. because I couldn't walk. Yeah. This is what happened. Yeah, I tried to wake you up to help me, and you wouldn't. <laughs> this is your fault. I screamed your name. Yeah. You're you're still plugged in and trying to play, you know. But. Yeah, see, I've never been a huge gamer, but I see those guys that are, they're tethered to their computer. Well, that happens to me sometimes because <clears throat> usually I wear Bluetooth headphones. Right. And when, sometimes when they're charging, I'll go back to like wired. Yeah. And I'll forget and I'll stand up and go to walk away and like, Bleh! you're like, yeah. oh, yeah, right. I'm connected to this. Well, because I think it's a proven fact that that wire will catch on anything known. The wind can well, catch it. This is my thing is like, this thing that drives me nuts is that it'll catch on anything but if you ever needed it to save your life, like if, <laughs> if you needed it to like catch before you like trip and like <laughs> the headphones are junk, yeah. pulls right out. <laughs> right. Like if you're going to trip and fall like face first on the corner of a table or like off a ledge, those right. things are popping immediately. They're right. not catching anything. They're not snagging. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. If you, at any other time though, those are snagging. They're pulling your ear. They're y- yanking. You're yeah. cutting your foot around them. It's like, why is it whenever I don't need it to catch, it yeah. catches. I, but I guarantee if I needed it to catch, right out. <laughs> But I I thought that was a pretty good one. Yeah. So now. I will say this. Yeah. One time we were in GNC. Uh Uh-oh. Are you going to, you're going to shat yourself? No, this is the, this is a weight related thing. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Damn it. Yeah. Every time I tell those other stories, people think I'm I'm making it up. I'm being weird. I'm like, oh, they're true. I was so excited. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to hear up stories about that, you have to go see them live. But anyway. You have to go go see them live. Or or go back into some of the archive. They're in there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, You know, at, at the point. All they had in the back were like barbells and dumbbells. Like they didn't have any like weights on them, but they were just the bars with the. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. So I'm looking at some on the floor. One of our buddies from high school picks up one of the ones above me. He picks it up and starts like pretending like he's like you know curling a thousand pounds. He's oh like, the, no! Like just like doing like you know gym screams and yeah. bro stuff. Well, the the uh, the fastener wasn't on it. <laughs> right. What well, was on it? But was it was maybe half turned. Yeah. It just goes. Boop comes down and hits me right at the base of the neck, like where, oh. where the head hits the neck, right? And it was just like, Doo! and I was like, oh, like, yeah. and this guy from the front runs mm-hmm. in the back and he's like, he's like, what's happened? What's going on? He's like, did that weight not have a fastener? And I was it, like, like he knew? Yeah. Did he do this on purpose? Well, no, I, I was like, I was like, it was the fastener. None of these have weights. What did you, like, you think I picked up, you picked up the one, it was just, so, yeah, so I think he, I never went and got it checked out, but yeah, so the rest of the time we're walking around the mall, so that tells you how old this was. You could own stock in GNC right now. Should have. Oh, I, well, man. they should have said something. I was the one that was brained. Like, I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> like, I just picked up my head. Like, Orange Julius. <laughs> and I want great steak and potato. <laughs> it's like the, I want a, I want a chicken Philly, but nothing that makes it a Philly. You're like, you're like Ralphie with Santa yeah. Claus? Yeah, football. Yeah. Football sounds good. I want to pay extra for the Philly part, but I want to hold the Philly part. <laughs> Mac, we went to great steak and potato before going to the comedy shrine. Come on, man. Everybody knows this story. And, and Come Damon on. ordered a chicken Philly and then made him hold everything that made it Philly. <laughs> Yeah, can chicken. I get a chicken Philly, but can you hold the Philly stuff and just give me a chicken with mayonnaise? <laughs> can I have a and cheese? Can I have a chicken Shanahan? <laughs> What's that? No Philly. No Philly. <laughs> but uh, trust me for the Philly. Hey, so you guys probably saw on social media this week, um, I am, I, I have made someone dead to me that was a very, very, very big part of everything. And uh, that's one Mr. Tony Danza. He is dead to me and hey, there's the road you take and the road not take <clears throat> correct the choice is up to you my friend yeah well he chose wrong yeah he did yeah so anyway he yeah, said so we we put scotty backs in the in place for that we day. did not we did not but it's not how i remember i did put out there no you and my wife voted for scotty backs uh neither vote counts so that's how it works all right i did like your unnecessary ref- roughness <laughs> you like that yeah. one huh that's yeah. good it's a good movie um, i enjoy it so anyway these were the suggestions we had uh of nick offerman which i, I like that one he's from He's from the area, he's right? You might, you might yeah. catch him at home. You oh, might Manuka. catch him at he's home. He's from Manuka or Shannon. Manuka. Manuka. Right, because he calls 
Shanahan Manuka's yeah. uh, junkyard. Yeah. So then uh, Fred Savage, which I, I wasn't. Yeah, thumbs I, down. Yeah. Two thumbs down. All John, the thumbs down. <clears throat> John Cusack. Uh, first off, I, I'm probably already friends with him on Facebook. I mean, he yeah. he's, he's John Cusack. Yeah. Uh, Jim Belushi, he's weird now. I don't want any part of that train wreck. Uh, Ray Romano. I like Ray Romano. And uh, I, I would, I would, I would, I, he's on the well, list. You love him because everyone loves, loves him. <clears throat> Everybody loves him. Yeah. Uh, Joel McHale, which. Now I, I saw him. I'm okay. I saw him at Zany's in St. Charles, at, at the one that shut down, the one in Pheasant Run. Yeah. He went on like a 45 minute, like, jaunt about how the hotel's haunted and how the place sucks. And now he was in the Twilight Zone. And, and then he started his set. Yeah. Now this was the seven o'clock show and there's a nine o'clock show, right? So he ran a little late. Oh, he went a little late. <laughs> What's that weird light flashing yeah. in the back? It's like a strobe light. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> um, it, was, it was great because we got like this is before I was working there, so it was like I got to, like yeah, it was see extended I, show. I, I like him, but I, I don't think uh, I, I don't think I don't that, think he's right. He's no, not a good fit. He's not. Um, Richard Dean Anderson. Okay, now listen. Yeah, I like this, but I also put up a picture. Yeah, yeah, he's a little rough of of MacGyver, who now I might physically be in better shape than. Yeah. Okay, and. He couldn't fix his car. He had the hood up. Yeah. So I'm not saying I can fix he, cars. He's more McRib than he is McGuire. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. He's more like, yeah, I'm going to need a sandwich and <laughs> yeah. a shake. What are you going to fix with that? Uh, I'm hungry. Yeah, my hunger. That's <laughs> yeah, what I'm my fix hunger. <laughs> yeah. And I'll take the cookie. Um, but no, I, I, so I thought, no, nah, not, not, not there. Bill Murray, I think he's out of my league. Yeah, I think he's past that point. I think, I think he's out of my league. I think I'm I'm, I'm small potatoes. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I I need I need. He's a wild now, car. You're never going to nail him down. Anymore. Danny Bonaducci. I think I'm out of his league. Okay. Yeah. I think he's small potatoes. Yeah. So we're not going to go there. Um, Charlie Sheen. No. Uh, no. No. Because I'm good, still stuck. In, why, who suggested Danny Bonaducci? I don't I, I don't remember who who suggested him. But uh, then there was uh, Scott Scott Bakula, uh, which I Scotty Bax. Negative. First off, he doesn't have a nickname on this show. It's Scott Bakula. No, okay. Scotty Bax has a nickname. Hey, he does not. Not on this do, show. Do, 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 no. Do, 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 Louis do, Anderson, do, 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 who do, do, already looks right. like who, who who already looks like he's dead. Yeah, I I don't want that. Yeah, I didn't know he was still alive. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Louis Anderson, Mark Curry, remember hanging with Mr. Cooper? Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, it, it's, a, it's a weird flex. It's, well, first off, I'm not a basketball guy. Yeah. So I, if it was like, I mean, he might be, he might be like, all right, I got nothing else going on. Yeah. He, might, he might be our only shot. Yeah. So well, you guys already turned down the, the Donna Booch. Yeah. Yeah, we did. <laughs> uh, Kirk Cameron, uh, he would murder me yeah. because uh, uh, we are not alike and should never hang out no. together. Yeah. He is. Um, he's somewhere every every Sunday. Uh, that during football season, I may not be. Right. So yes, yeah. You would not approve. <clears throat> no. The last one that was a suggestion, Henry Winkler. I kind of like that one, too. You like the fonts? Yeah. I, I mean, know. We, we still got to pop up and see us. Uh, yes, there. we do. Yeah. I don't know if I skipped over Scott Bayo. He was on there, too. They, we had Hard two. pass. Yeah, it was, Scott, it was a hard pass. Charles is not in charge. No. It's not going to happen. So my two thoughts that I did not put on the list. Are the my two dads? Yeah. Paul Reiser and. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't like Paul Reiser. What's, what's the other guy's name? Greg Evans. Great. How do you know that? He's like the other guy in Wham. No, Who's was, that guy? He was, you know? the, he was, uh, you're not George Michael. Who are you? He was BJ I'm, and BJ and the bear. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. Well, how do you not know a show called BJ? And the bear? <laughs> that does semi with a, with a hey, monkey. Hey Matt, can you Google BJ and the bear right now? Yeah. <laughs> hey Google. Uh -huh. Hey Google. <laughs> BJ and the bear. Oh, right. That's, that, yeah. that's the important part. Yeah. Um, I had two Emilio Estevez. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. I really thought it'd be neat to do like uh night at the rocks and be like Emilio <laughs> just all the time. I thought that'd be cool. He's actually back working again, doing right. the Mighty Ducks right. thing on Disney Which, Plus. Again, then I could meet Charlie Sheen by accident, maybe. That's true. Oh, is he Googling? Oh, Greg Evigan. BJ and the Bear. Okay, Greg so it's 78 yeah. to 81. Okay. The last one, this might be my guy. George Went. Norm? Yeah. Norm. I very much fit you know, the profile. His nephew is Jason Sudeikis. That's his nephew? Yeah. He's he's also very funny. Yeah. He's extremely funny. So if we could accidentally mm -hmm. meet Sudeikis through right. Went, I'm down with that. So that's what we should do. Yeah. Maybe we should get... George Went was also in Columbo. He was the murderer once. Maybe we should meet Sudeikis so we can get to George Went. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but anyway, is there any of these that hop out to you besides uh, Scott Bakula, who's not going to be my guy? Scotty Bax? Um, yeah. And I, I need to stick, just to check, Mac, we're all married here. Um, I need to stick with a guy, right? I can't have. I, I, you're not going to go with like. Well, what is the end game here? What are we trying to do? But I, 
be best friends. Of course. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, then yeah, you probably want to stick with right. That. I think yeah. so. Right for social reasons, I think right. it, it needs to be a male. Okay. All right. I'm just checking. So, but uh, so yeah, I, I I think honestly, I'm gonna finalize this list. Yeah. I like I said, Bayo's out. I like Winkler. I, I like the Henry yeah. Winkler. I really do. Um, I love Bill Murray. I just don't. I think he's out of my league. Um, and then Ray Romano. I mean, Ray, Ray Romano. I think. And it, it's weird that I'm like Bill Murray's out of my league. Ray Romano. You yeah. know. He, well, yeah. it's funny that you're saying Bill Murray's out of the league than any of these people. Yeah. Except, except, <laughs> except maybe Danny Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> He's in the bathroom right now. He's like, I was going to surprise you. Yeah. <laughs> but you said all those I mean, mean things about me. I did sit three rows in front of Barry Williams, Greg Brady. Yeah. The show, yeah, so. yeah. You know what? So, I, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not out of the ordinary that you might actually run into one of these people. I understand. Well, but you have to, go to, you have to sprint Branson running if you're going to do yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Where where does Greg Brady hang out? Branson. And uh, those days in age, Branson. Yeah. <laughs> he was so, doing a show. I actually saw a show. I was front row. It was not hard to get tickets. Yeah, I was going to say. Do you have so, any front row tickets left? Yeah, I got the whole theater, it, man. Where do you want to sit? It, it, so if you're our age, you definitely know who he is. If you're 10 years younger now, she still know who he is. But once you get younger than that, you might not know who he is. Um, but as Greg Brady, he's still, like, he's still in that persona. Like, he's still. Yeah. He's groovy today. Yeah. He's the grooviest dude you're ever going to know. Like, he almost looks like he big times people. And it's like, dude. you're And, and again, if you could make that much money, imagine being on one show and that's what you're known for forever, but you've made your whole life's living off of that. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. I mean, they just did that thing on HGTV where they, yeah, they did the Brady they bought house. the house and built it. So it looks like, yeah. 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 And that was, I don't, did he part? I don't think he partaked. Yeah. That. They all did. Oh, he did. Okay. All six kids. did. Okay. Yeah. Cause I saw certain episodes. I didn't see him on there. So, yeah. but, uh, but what I'm saying is, is, is to take a show from that long ago right. and still be relevant. And now you're in Branson and you have people, well, you have your parents and then you spend money there. Like you said, not hard to get tickets. I get it. You know, he used to have a reality show. Did you ever watch that reality show? What was he, that? He, he had a reality show when he first went to Branson and he, and it was after himself, but I, you watch him and it was like, I'm, I'm the attraction. Branson's lucky. You know what I mean? And I just, when you get that persona, it's like, dude, yeah. Bring her back. Yeah. Dial her in. You know what I mean? You're like, Two things away from doing duck tours in Branson. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. I, so I assume he's not definitely on the list. Yeah, um, he's not on the list. No, he's not. Anybody else you think I, that, that I need to add? I mean, I was thinking, you know, 80s, 90s. I, I didn't go really like comedians. Ray Romano, of course, is a comedian, but he was also an actor. Um, I didn't go like any straight comedians. I don't know, man. I mean, well, you're the, we, have you're we the talk, comic. Have we reached out to Mr. T? <laughs> you know what? That would be awesome. Yeah. That would be, I'd have to buy a van. Yeah, I would, would have to buy a van. Yeah. Oh, I would let Mr. T drive the van too. Be like, <laughs> you, you guys got to let me drive the van. Yes, that's first the off, point. I drive everywhere. That is, ooh, that is a tough. That's, that's gonna tough be run. that's a standoff. Yeah. Can you imagine that standoff? Yeah, me and him because because I'm a jerk. Yeah, I mean I will. Well, then maybe you should put Tom Opad on the list <laughs> because <laughs> he doesn't go. drive. But then, where's Ted? He's got to sit in the back because Tom Tom yeah. gets to sit over here. Right. So I could just see your head pop up. Hey guys, we having fun or what? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you, you just squeeze me through the back window, like they used to Uncle Jesse. They don't, I think they always cut to commercial because yeah. you know they'd like put his leg up and then be like, okay, now right, now yeah. just let him in the door. Well, I always thought it was funny because it's like, look, those seats go forward. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know why you don't put the seat up. Like you're, they're trying to go through the little corner angle window. Right. Okay. Let. And you the roll bars there. Yeah, you don't like, have to be great in geometry to realize yeah. circle does not take the square, yeah, or in right. this case, triangle. Pull the bottom of the seat up, fold <laughs> it forward. <laughs> Slide in the heavy part, yeah. and you're good to go. You had a pretty good shot there. <laughs> we, we'll get the van. We'll make him jump in through the window <laughs> of the van. <laughs> this doesn't make sense at all. So anyway, so I, I am, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to narrow that down to probably three, and then we're going to we're gonna vote on that. Okay. Because I really feel like I, I need somebody in that position. I really miss having that go-to, like someone to look up to. It needs to be somebody I admire. So you're off the list. <clears throat> Bacula's off the list. So it hurts. Huh? That hurts. <laughs> I don't think it hurts as bad. It doesn't hurt as bad as uh, holding a flashlight for a grown man. Yeah. <laughs> Do we? So listen, I have a strange story. Remember, we didn't get to one last week, but I have another one that I think is better. And it almost falls in line with our fight me bra for the week. So okay. if I don't give you the title. The guy that, that pooped himself after stubbing his toe on a weight. <clears throat> Correct. Okay. Correct. But I, this, is a, this is a different guy. All right. Here's the headline. 
Man spikes his goodbye cake at work with laxatives. Chaos ensues <laughs> as people shit everywhere. Mac, Brian's as a board. man who's going, who's a very entrepreneurial here and may one day break free from any other employer, take notes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> He's over here saying, ha, I like this. All right. Push my pen. <laughs> ben Waller, 44, mid 40s. Uh, of Houston, Texas. All right, so here's the name of the business, the bakery that does these. It's called A Case of the Quits. <laughs> <laughs> you on board with that? I got, I got Mac. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Start with your story. <laughs> I like it. You can eat that one into my cart. We're good. I'm all right with that one. <laughs> so it's funny when people say eat. See, normally you just say it, and I get to laugh. <laughs> So anyway, he's a Houston, Texas. He worked on the corporate side of the oil and gas industry. There's a cool pun there, but I'm not going right, to go there. Right, sure. Okay. Um, for 20 years. Yeah, I mean, you get lube and gas. In right. The, in right. Joke, sure. But he made, he made quite a bit of money over the years and decided to retire early and enjoy the fruits of his labor. Okay. Uh, he was also glad to be rid of his coworkers so shallow they could drown in a puddle. So this guy. Yeah. How much do you have to hate your coworkers? Right. And I would have fired that out at like nine nine o'clock on a Friday. <laughs> We're having early morning cake. Because <laughs> you know, listen, you can be like, Bill's leaving. Cool. We all hate Bill. There's cake. Awesome. I'm right. going to come say bye. Yeah. You know, that's that's what happens. Well, in this case, his where name's is, Ben. That, where is that? that <laughs> ben, where I is just, that s- s- SOB, Bill? I'm going to go say goodbye. <laughs> so like, I just wanted to say bye. Oh, there's cake. And it's like, no, you knew about the cake. That's why you're here to say bye to me. <laughs> so anyway... As typical of any goodbye party for an oil and gas employee, they pulled out all the stops and saying goodbye to Ben. There was a full table of barbecue meats and sides, uh, cornhole for the sports guys, which, as we know, is bags. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, plenty of Bud Light to go around. So this was not a during work hours party. No. This is a, hey, Ben, thanks, buddy. Yeah. <clears throat> but this is a big I mean, deal. He's, he's uh, loading up. He's, he's loading up the tube, though. He's, well, that's the thing. Yeah. It's Look, not just like cake. It's, we're talking we're barbecue. Pumping. We're talking. Yeah. We're pumping in meats. Yeah, b- beer. And beer. Yeah. Okay. Which. Man, I, ho- I wish there were hot wings so you could get like. <laughs> so you get the good yeah. sting. Fire and- in the hole. <laughs> not only am I doing this, but it hurts too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the centerpiece was the cake. A massive creation made to look like a barrel of oil. Hmm. Uh, in the weeks and days leading up to his final day of work. Ben wanted to leave in a way no one would ever forget. His idea to spike his going away cake with laxatives. Uh, And spike he did. Over 10 boxes of X-Lax went into the cake. Hey, can you imagine calling Jewel? (laughs) Is this the Jewels? Cool. Can you run over to the Osco part real quick and get an addition for my cake? (laughs) Here's your $400 cake, sir. (laughs) So so he says... uh, not to be one left out, Ben also planned on having some cake, too. I mean, who wouldn't want to shit on the floor of their former employer? <laughs> so this guy, Mac, remember this now. When you're doing this, you have to partake in whatever's there so it doesn't look suspicious. You mm. see what I'm saying? This is where you get a piece of cake. Yeah. Decorated exactly the same. Yeah, like a cupcake or something. Well, right. you know, yeah, you get a piece of cake. Right. You walk away. You come back with the other, like the exact duplicate piece of cake. Yeah. They go, oh, hey, hold on a second. I got to get something from my desk before I leave. You get that, you come back, and then it looks like you're eating, you know. Yeah, or you have just a, a, a small piece, like yeah. you're in your forks in it, like, man, that was good. I chowed that down on the way right. to the desk. Right. Right. <clears throat> so it says, uh, we're still trying to figure out how to inspect the scene without passing out from the smell. Chief Frank Franklin, the ninth, said, your name is Frank Franklin, and there's eight other people yeah. that were named that. Are you kidding me right now? Uh, survey says we can put it on the board. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Number one answer. No other answers on the board. Yeah. Yeah. That's a family of unoriginal people. Yeah. Well, yeah. that sounds like George Foreman. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, it was cake time and everyone's ready to go chow down. Uh, Milton from the basement came up in hopes of landing a slice. 120 pieces of cake were dispersed. And within an hour of ingestion, over 100 people had uncontrollable diarrhea. The scene was everything Ben had hoped for and more. Shit running down the legs of people desperate to get into the already full bathroom. People shat in trash cans and in elevators. This guy, 
What's the movie? Was it Stand By Me where they did the, the Python contest? What, what's the one? What's the one where they did the Python contest? I mean, no, it wasn't Stand By Me. It was an older movie, though. You remember where they, they, they did, uh, and the guy, they, the blueberries, and then they threw up all over everybody. And, I know what you're talking about. But I don't remember and I can't remember, the, I can't remember what movie it's in. But anyway, it's a Python contest, and basically the same thing happens. Because one guy starts, and then it just starts yeah. a chain reaction. They put X-Lax, or they put uh, whatever in the one, like Castor Oil, whatever, in the one guy's pie. So the fact of the matter is, is instead of him just saying, look, I can make one guy sick and throw up, and then people will start, because, you know, people, they get around puke or this or that. Yeah. He decided to turn 100 people loose, just crap in their pants. Yeah. This is really pretty good. This is, were, I, were, were there ramifications for this? So or, here's, or did he, like, do it to himself so he could be like, I don't know what you're talking about. So, well, of course, they would have to know he did it because now there's a story on it. But, no, there is nothing in here about, like, charges pressed or this or that. I mean, realistically, it's like the end-all, be-all prank. And it's... You know how, like, sometimes you prank somebody and it goes bad and you're like, sorry, bro, that's not what I intended? Yeah, no, this, this clearly is came exactly, out the way Exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is probably better. He's probably like, man, even, you know, Betsy from accounting, you know what I mean? Right. She shouldn't have wore white today, you know? I mean, first off. I assume they just burned that building down. Yeah, I, I'd be so grossed out. I, I'd already be in my car anyway. I'd yeah. already be in my car on the way home. I would not be around to talk to news, cops. Yeah. But for the cop, by the way, Frank Franklin, yeah. the ninth, for the cop to be like, we couldn't Wait, even get in the building. Was that last movie in the theater recently? The FF9? Was that <laughs> That's what it was, was that about this show? <laughs> I didn't realize that. I thought it was about cars in space or something. Generations of poop cops. All right. <laughs> hey, hey, we don't care about the diarrhea. We're family. <laughs> in this one, the cops played by Vin Diesel. <laughs> yeah. Smells like shit in here. What are we going to do? I know we'll get the rock for ratings, you know. <laughs> I never seen but, any yeah. one of that movies, so I couldn't tell you what. Okay. Who was that? What? You watch those movies, Mac? No. Yeah. I mean, I've seen Vin Diesel <clears throat> not in, you know. So is this something you would do? Well, here's the thing. No. It's, it's, <laughs> this guy's a terrible human. Yeah. <laughs> but you're right though. The had, second you feel that first like <laughs> Yeah. Why are you hanging around? I'm done. I'm in my car. Yeah. Hey, we're out. Like the <laughs> You don't need more more pulled pork. <laughs> That sound in my stomach means more pulled pork. <laughs> more Budweiser, please. Yeah, that first cramp, it's like, I got to go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs> but, but hey, just, we're, we were just about to do karaoke. I'm out. Yeah. Well, and that's why I thought, too, like, seriously, if this is a party, like an after, after hours or a Saturday party, Sunday party, I mean, you're free to leave. If you yeah. do this during work. Yeah, like then I you got to go back to your desk. Yeah, I couldn't imagine being right. like the phones are ringing off the hook. Yeah. We're we're all lined up for the bathroom. There's crap all down the hallway. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and you know if it's if it's a, uh, I mean depending on where You've it is. Seeing people running to the to the, like the Starbucks next door, paying customers only, and they're just throwing <laughs> money over the counter. Whatever this will get me. Are you having a venti? I'm making a venti right now. <laughs> you will get out of my way. You can write Cassandra on it. We're good. <laughs> I am going to find the Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop, there it is. <laughs> but but no, man, I, I, I read that story. First off, the fight me, bro, I thought was cool because we've all been there where you've tripped over something, you've snagged something, something bad happens. Right. And like I said, uh, you know, the, the week we did the catfish days, I was a superhero and, and turned around on the stairs and I flew down <laughs> the last five stairs, you know, and I still have a bad toe. <laughs> so that hurts. But it's another thing when you're like sitting in your own feces right. at the bottom of the stairs going, right. ow, <laughs> you know, <laughs> ow. <laughs> Good news, everyone. I landed on my butt. <laughs> yeah. And I made a soft landing. <laughs> Yeah. Do you need anything? Uh, I'm going to need some uh, ibuprofen <laughs> and a change of underwear. <laughs> and and some, not in that order. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but even if this is a weekend, there's no way they have that cleaned out for like Monday. Yeah. It's still rancid. I mean, I'm sure that like you're calling the crime scene people. Right. You're calling. You're right. You're literally calling the crime well, scene. It's body cleanups. fluids. Yeah. It's body fluids. I mean, yeah. you're, 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 they, what do they call it? Um, mineral. Mineral spill, I think, is what they call it. Because I was at Disney once. Uh, it was, is that or is it a protein spill? Protein spill. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, yeah. Pr protein spill. But I, I literally called down. Uh, Chuck was real little. And uh, I like like under two. And whatever we gave him came out all over the like the bedspread thing. 
And I was like, uh, my son threw up on that. Oh, protein spill. Got it. We'll be right there. And I'm like, what? What are you, you know, and they show up with a new bedspread and, t- and I'm mm. like, man, that's, uh, and I try cleaning it up. They're like, oh, you don't have to do that. I'm like, no, I do. It's my kid, you know? Right. But imagine doing that for a hundred people. Right. You're right. That's a crime scene. That's really yeah. what it is. Yeah. Holy cow. They're literally cow. getting those guys in the white suits and the hazmats yeah. and everything. And yeah. Yeah. When, and if there's carpet in that office building. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're That's what I'm telling. Fire was used at some point. <laughs> there was an incinerator. Where? Some guy lost his favorite chair. No. You're My the, ass groove. Oil prices go through the yeah. roof because yeah. oil company, you know? Right. What happened? We had to pay for cleaning. Yeah, we had to From Ben's cleaning. going away party, you know? We had to shut down for a week. <laughs> we had to, yeah. Well, because that's also the gift that keeps on giving. That don't just go away. Right. That that lingers for a little bit until you're empty, and right. then you're dehydrated, and yeah. then you feel terrible. Well, that's the thing. Is like, I was like, do I do I risk eating something? Right. <laughs> Am I done because I'm empty, or I'm done because I'm better? Right. That's the question. That's always great too. Yeah. When you're done being sick, like, oh, I feel yeah. great, and you have like a cracker, and you're like, how did all that get back in me? Right. <laughs> there was a cracker. Yeah. If I took the whole box, it still wouldn't well, make that much. Like, it's like, how sick were you? Well, I saw everything I've eaten since birth. Yeah. I that's found, how much came out of me. I don't I, know what was in there. but I found a crayon, and I haven't colored <laughs> yeah. since school. <laughs> wow. So uh, so I can tell you what. On behalf of uh, Frank Franklin the Ninth, we'll call it case closed. And uh, Mac, you really think that you would, you'd, you'd never try this, huh? You said this guy's just a, a jerk? Yeah. I think you would do this. You perked right up when I read the title. And don't say you did. You perked right up. I mean, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, yeah, it's funny. But, I think you know, just, somebody just, could have died. Yeah, there's too many people involved. Oh, yeah. No, you're you're correct. It is it is different. Well, but, like, if you work somewhere where there's five employees, are you going to look at cake now different? Somebody brings in donuts. Hey, here's donuts. You eat one first. Yeah. <laughs> you know? What kind of cake is it? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's red velvet. No. Yeah. You can have a lot of stuff in red velvet. Yeah. <laughs> Is it is it white vanilla? Take it. I'll try it. <laughs> you're at Osco. Do you have do you have red velvet X yeah. X by any chance? <laughs> no, just, yeah, I just gotta make a real quick call, real quick. Uh, hello, Walgreens. Yeah, real quick question. <laughs> Osco wouldn't give me a straight answer. <laughs> but you guys are in the same biz. What color X laxes do you have? Yeah. You have anything with sprinkles, yeah. like a confetti? <laughs> yeah. Do you have like funfetti? Yes. That, maybe that's why he was maybe he was walking down the aisles and he saw a new birthday cake x yeah. He was like, wow, that flavors and everything. Wow. That gives me an idea. That is great. That alone makes me want to retire. <laughs> Seeing that on the shelf. Uh so I actually have a related story. Is Probably it about your why, rash again? Because I'm gonna no, be really upset. No, 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 no. But it is about a workplace uh revenge thing. So basically there was somebody that worked at my store. Somebody else didn't like them. And that person had one of those like tubs of gum, you know, like yeah. you can just pour a piece out. Mm. Yeah. Well, I found that tub of gum one day and I'm like, Ooh, gum. And so I like ate a piece of gum because oh, no. it was in the manager's office. Oh no. You know, was it evidence in the manager's office? <laughs> no, no, no. It was just in the manager's <laughs> office, but it was the manager that like a lot of people didn't like. Yeah. So one day I- I'm grabbing a piece of gum and my coworker was like, no, <laughs> Said, oh, no. what? What? And she's like, I put those in my mouth and then spit them on the ground and put them back in the container. Uh, oh, man. Okay, it's so. as bad as it could be. Okay, but here's the deal. Mr. I judged the guy who made everybody shit themselves at the company. And you're like, what a jerk. Did you tell the manager? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's only one no. guy. I liked my coworker you're, you're, and you're That's one manager. person yeah, you are pranking right. one guy. That's not one guy pranking 150 You are right. People. You're not really an accomplice in that. You're just, yeah. uh, you know too much. And I've never just taken not individually wrapped gum ever again. Right. You you learn. Yeah. You learn. That's why I'm saying, I bet you there's 100 people right here that when they go to birthday parties, they're like, nope, I'm going to watch them eat it first. Well, that's the thing. Like Now that we're uh, like this far into a global pandemic, I've been to some birthday parties since the world kind of opened back up. And when they started blowing on the, the candles, I was like, and I don't want cake anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I realized that I didn't realize how gross it was prior. Yeah. To this, but you're but looking. now I'm like, mm, no. Yeah. You're looking. No, thanks. <clears throat> yeah. Before it was kind of cute when a little kid, yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, I, I well, see it. Okay. Like, I tried to hand them a plate. I'm like, just wave the plate like a fan. It'll still, like, right. ex- extinguish the candles. No, nah, right. we're going to let them blow on it. Cool. I guess uh, Ted won diabetes zero today. <laughs> so now instead of, like, the first... <laughs> The first uh, party where they have the smash cake. Now they have the blow cake. Yeah. And they <laughs> you can blow this one out. Everyone's going to eat from that one. Google blow cake, will you? 
Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Google cake farts. Yeah. Right. Last day, cake farts. Again. Siri? <laughs> yes. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. <laughs> that checks out. Where can they find us, Dad? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really Google it? <laughs> People also ask, what is blow cake? Okay. Oh, you really did. Hey, just like Britney Spears, hit me one more time. Yeah. Hey, Ted, where do we find it? <laughs> they can find us at thatchecksout.net or on all of our socials, that checks out WTT. That stands for With Damon and Ted. I am Ted. That makes him Damon coming to you here from Audio Hive Podcasting Studio. And on behalf of our producer, Mac, Damon, this has been Ted. That checks out. Hey, Siri, Google Rash. Like a diaper rash? That would, <laughs> where did it come from? That would that would connect to the episode. This still needs to turn this way over here. I don't like it. <clears throat> I don't know. I thought he was an audio technician. I'm totally. I, I still had to tweak yeah. the hell out of this microphone. I don't understand. You ask me to use the microphone. I have I have really bad depth perception. Oh, thanks for not choking me with Ben. <laughs> <laughs> He's bleeding. Too close, Brian. Too close. Too oh, close. Bad judge of distance. <laughs> you didn't have to try it six times when it stopped. <laughs> <laughs>